Hi, this is Paul from TradeFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday, the 3rd of April. I'm going to look at DOCU today, D-O-C-U, on the daily time frame. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. Now, what I've done first of all is I've looked at the lows on this daily time frame and isolated our wave count. One of the good things about our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is we can isolate at the, at the lows. So then our software will automatically put the wave count on and the pullback zones and everything else. So I've gone to these lows at 35.06, isolated the wave count, then our software's automatically labeled this Elliott Wave Count. It is a bullish move. We've had a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, and now we've had the wave four profit taking pullback. And that's what we're really interested in right now because we want to trade that fifth wave. The fifth wave is the highest probability move because all the other rules have been met. Let's talk about some of those rules right now. Uh, first of all, the wave four has pulled back and found support in our green probability zone. So that represents an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones up here around about $62, uh, just over $62 there, up there in blue. The next thing we look at is the performance of this wave four on a few things. So first of all, we look at the 535 oscillator. You see we've got the big profile here on the wave three, and then we pulled back. It's pulled back and found, uh, and you know, we're between 90 and 140%. As long as that holds and the profile starts to come back down, that's a good sign of that wave four behavior. The next is our false breakout stochastic. You see the yellow dots in the overbought zone denote a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So there you can see that we've actually got some really good indicators that this wave four has behaved properly. Now we just need to look for an entry. First of all, yesterday's bar close right near the highs. I've just put on our black box breakout indicator suite as well as our early wave indicator suite here because this shows me the volume on every candle for each day. So a green candle is an up candle with higher volume than the previous day. Whereas we look at the gray candles, they're up candles with lower volume. So yesterday we got increased volume to the upside and closed near the high. Really, really encouraging there. We look at our multiple time frame dot cloud as well. We can see our main time frame on the weekly uh, and then the four day, three day, all green. So this pullback, as you can see on these dot clouds here, has been orderly. And now we are returning with all but one dot away from all green being bullish again. So we are looking for an entry. We use the 6-4 moving average high on our Elliott Wave indicator suite as our entry position. So we want to be outside of that for today's bar position. So that's 55.11 is our entry here. Stop loss just below the wave 4, 50.97. And the target zone, around in the middle of the target zone, 62.23. So risk reward of 1 to 1.6. Really good looking risk reward. Everything sets up pretty well. This is a high probability trade. In fact, it's an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave 5 high. So that's it. Very, very simple using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. This signal actually was part of my swing trading um, membership today. Just one of quite a, you know, over a, a dozen trades that I've set up for today. Uh, so that's it. Have a great trading day. Swing trading opportunity on Docu on the daily time frame. Entry at 55.11.